Hello and uh, welcome to this part of C programming tutorial. In this part we will learn about printf and scanf. Here is printf and here is scanf. These are input output functions. So printf is for printing that is uh, in a formatted fashion and scanf is for scanning scanning the keyboard input let me minimize this and uh, let me maximize this already so these functions are very well documented and uh, you can read about these functions in specification in manual pages many places these are mentioned I'll show you right here right now how to see this the editor as you see is Emacs I have moved from other editors to Emacs finally so how to see its man page place your cursor on printf and type all text man hit enter twice and next window you get is the man page of printf but this is from manual page one so um, if you want the man page of printf then you should uh, do something like this free space printf then uh, oops. so free space printf you will be taken to a section called Linux Programmer's Manual which describes all such functions of this family that is printf, fprintf, snprintf uh, and so on other functions this is described in big detail big big detail here I implore you that you read this on your own I'll take you through most common options which you will find useful in your day-to-day -day programming activities so let's go to our source code now if you notice here there is something called std int and there is something called std def now std int is needed here for int max underscore t and std def is needed for size underscore t and ptrd underscore t later you will find out that where these specific types are needed many times you'll get warnings and you won't have an idea that's what's that what is going on for example if you are trying to print the size of a pointer or difference of a pointer two pointers then you need to use size underscore t and ptr diff underscore t respectively in my last tutorial I didn't say about initialization and definition or definition and declaration so for example if I say int j then it is a mere declaration but if I say int i is equal to 0 then this is definition when you give a value to a variable then it becomes a definition ideally you should always always assign values the moment you declare that so that you know beforehand first time you encounter the variable what the value is going to be so there are no surprises now you see printf is uh, I am printing a uh, string to screen enter an integer and then I say scanf and note how it needs address uh, of i because it is going to modify the value which is stored at that address so you need to pass the address uh, we discussed this in our last tutorial so next we will get this output and then we say i is equal to 1000 so this will print 1000 but <coughs> you see what happens if you try to execute it so uh, let's focus on the 1000 part here so look at this this portion so by default this is right aligned do you see four places are free here t h e n space so and this is 8d now we have got float i have given a big float but see this is 7899 now let's see what happened to that 
it became 787. So that is the kind of rounding which happens when you convert um, fractional parts into binary. And then we have 0.2f. So see only two uh, significant digits are printed here that is on this line and see how rounding was applied and then you try to print up to 10 digits see what happens is your value is goner you didn't get the original value and then you cause it to have left alignment that is if you give it minus that is this guy minus 10d so now we have 0 10d so left side is now padded with all zeros now we have int max underscore t so you print that with the help of percentage j i or percentage j d if you have size underscore t then you print it with z i or z d if you have ptr diff then you use uh, t for that so variable names I have chosen accordingly j for j and j for z and t for t and you can have strings also now strings come in two forms one is array and another is a, a pointer so you see both both of these there is const uh, applied to characters so you can't really modify the strings and then you print them using percentage s s for uh, strings and then we have long integer you print them using ld long long will be lld so if you have long double then that would be capital L so these are all mentioned here now these are unsigned forms that is O U small x and capital X so if you see here if you use small x it is small c in hexadecimal if you use capital X it is capital C in hexadecimal and in octal it had become it had became it had become um, 14 sorry for that tense confusion so you see these uh, forms only accept uh, unsigned values it won't accept uh, signed values and then small e and capital E are for scientific forms uh, they use small e and capital E respectively for denoting the exponent and then we have G now uh, now G is uh, somewhat typical you will have to see its uh, meaning uh, because it's somewhat complicated so you better read for small g and capital G and this C will print uh, uh, character if uh, L is not supplied for an integer and this percentage percentage is basically over here it has come here now how do we scan a float we scan like this so we say a float is 5.6 so it will be printed now if you would say how do we take input of a string so for taking input of a string first you need some space so let's say we have a 45 character string so we declare it and then we say scanf um, percentage s comma a you don't need to supply address of a because uh, the capital a by default means the base address then we say make io and then we run it so the first integer and then the float and then it asks for a string so we didn't output it next time we'll output it printf percentage s backslash n comma a so we see now so the integer and then the float and then our string this will not accept spaces for spaces you need to use get s function or f get s function that we'll see later so that's all for now in this video in next video i'll show you more input output functions till then happy reading enjoy